What's up, Champions fam? It's Zeke410, back in a brand new WWE Champions video. Hey, yo, bad times don't last, but bad guys do, and champions do too. Hard work truly pays off in the long run, and patience is truly a virtue. This showdown weekend has truly been one for the ages so to speak, when it comes to yours truly, the bad guy of WWE Champions. I told y'all in my previous video, I was going to go all in to get Modern Era Showboat, Ultimate Warrior, Heroic Champion of WWE Turnia during June 2020's Master of the WWE Universe MLC crossover event. And... I was going to do it without spending a single dime. But did I do it? Did I get the job done? Well, we had some ups and downs, y'all, right out of the gate. Before the tournament went live, we went ahead and conquered the limited time tour with the superstars that we had in tow. We did the Rowdy Roddy Piper tour, and we dominated that. Made it all the way to hell mode. That was one check on the list. Then we hit up Deputy Dango's tour. And we overcame the annoying gnat that was Rey Mysterio. Boom, another check on the list. When it was all said and done, we had a grand total of 900 and 75 shards for Showboat Warrior. You need 1,200. Now, I know a lot of people would have gone right to the well because from what I've heard throughout the community, that banner had been dropping shards of Warrior like pieces of candy. But I wasn't going to bite. I was going to stick to my word. And I was going to stay true to the promise that I made to each and every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam so then the next day came and with that the tournament went live and we put boots to asses we maxed out the showdown coin 7500 of those boom another check off the list then we sustained our notoriety over 500 until the very last second before the reset, another check off the list. We hit up every single milestone. We utilized all of our options on our roster. And what happened? Bad times truly don't last, but champions do. This is the first time, the first time I have gone this hard in a showdown tournament. Hitting every single check mark on the list, filling each box with that green check of success to reap the rewards of my time and my efforts going up against multiple four-star gold tag teams. Rolling the dice on one of my four-star golds to hold things down while I had a fodder-level Texas Rattlesnake, a fodder-level NXT Ricochet. But we walked away with the W's. Teaming up Slick Rick, woo, with Hot Rod Piper to get all of those points since I do not have all aboard Godfather. Call on the whole train to pick up Hacksaw Jim Duggan, who also is scarce and nowhere to be found on my roster. We used every required champion. We did the 50 matches with Striker, Cena, Evil, Robot of the Skull King, Modern Era Striker, the MLC free-to-play champion for June 2020's 
masters of the WWE universe. And we got the job done. No money spent. But I got what I wanted and what I needed when it was all said and done, when the dust cleared. I'm grateful for all the opponents that I faced. I'm grateful for all the bugs that came throughout the countless resets, the countless amount of coins spent to reset opponents who had supposedly been attacked already. The countless ups and downs when it came to my notoriety. The countless attacks when I would get over 600 and then drop down damn near under 400. But I made it. I made it. And I got the job done. Many of you did too. Some of you pulled Warrior. Congratulations. Many of you also unlocked him. Congratulations. I salute everybody who put forth the efforts. And even if you didn't get Warrior, again, you walked away with Austin. You walked away with Rude. You got health packs. You got coins. You got ingots. You are a winner. You are a champion for your efforts. And this is a W for the entire community. I'm grateful. I'm blessed. I got him. I cleared his tour. I got all that crazy TP. Walked away with 1K in green TP. I was praying to God, dear Lord, scope gods, do not curse me with more blue. I got so much blue TP. It is utterly ridiculous. I literally got to be trying harder than anything to get rid of my blue TP supply, if you know what I'm saying. But I got that green. I'm Gucci. I'm good. I walked away with mad resources. I got that five-star silver showboat token, that money in the bank, suitcase, briefcase, whatever you want to call it. I walked away with that three-star gold bag. Sure, it was 800. Andre the Giant dupity dupes. He's sitting at four-star silver, but that's neither here or there. I got the job done, and it makes it more beautiful because, like I said, I wanted Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, modern era technician, but I missed out. Couldn't get the job done, but I made sure to get it done this time around. And to get him at four-star bronze, what makes this beautiful is I got him at four-star bronze recruited before I even hit the final milestone. I literally doubled back and finished up using Powerhouse Warrior, utilizing Rattlesnake Austin, finishing up my matches with Andre the Giant, and I was able to get enough coins, showdown coins, to get the job done. I maxed out Harlem Heat Booker. You already know the story about him, getting the four-star fuse for him. I maxed out Piper to do the tour from level one all the way up to level 140. I maxed out Fandango. Project, showboat projects I had been sitting on for a while. I finally pulled the trigger on them. It had to be done, but I have no regrets. No regrets at all. And I'm here to share my victory with you so you can share your story with me in the comments below. And also, I see that a lot of y'all did leave your questions down below my previous video. So once again, I like what I see and I like the interaction between you and I. So we're going to do something else. Once again, this will be the last video before we do the Q&A between you, my beloved hashtag champions fam, and yours truly. Hey, yo, it's the bad guy at WWE champion, Zeke 410. Leave your questions down below. I will take screenshots of them and I will answer each and every single one of them. Honestly, off the rip, raw and uncut. I will supply you with a genuine answer. But with that being said, y'all, 
This was a true journey. This is a true testament that you can get the job done. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be there like the only way you could get that done is if you had spent mad money. There's no denying that. There's no denying that I had to, you know, do some things to get some of the superstars that were required. But then, you know, I'm going to break it down to you the same way I broke it down in a previous video. Okay. Slick Rick and Piper. I got them from VIP. I got them from the VIP the DX vaults. I'm not going to deny that. But Fandango to this day is still the only prize wall champion I've ever gotten from an MLC prize wall. Absolutely free. Andre the Giant. I earned my Andre the Giant during the first and up to this point, the only world's greatest tournament where we got the choice of a free superstar at one star. It was either Andre, the irresistible force, Sting, the icon, Seth Rollins, the undisputed future, or Steve Austin, 316. Now, what makes this more beautiful is let me educate you on something. When this tournament went down, we didn't have trainer or coaching abilities at all. And think about that. Had we known Sting was going to be the Red MP trainer, we might have gone with him. Had we known the undisputed future Seth Rollins was going to be such a long-standing testament of time when it came to this game, we might have gone otherwise. Had we known how much of an annoyance at the three-star meta Steve Austin would become, we would have gone a different route. But we all opted for the legend Andre. I remember my champions. I remember where I picked them up. I remember pulling Harlem Heat Booker after a $20 in a dream pull and get, and pulling him after legend striker Nikolai Volkov. A lot of these champions that I'm mentioning to you are champions that were in free-to-play pulls at a certain point in time. They've been available in different types of bags, briefcase banners for different MLCs. So a lot of the champions that I used outside of Slick Rick, outside of Piper, are free-to-play champions I've recruited. Same with Austin, Texas, Rattlesnake. G spent thousands to get him. When we had the New Year New Superstar Contest, where if you reach the final milestone to get four-star bronze, New Gen Trickster Undertaker Dead Man, I did coin pulls. And I pulled until I recruited SB Austin. Ricochet NXT, one of three free-to-play MLC champions during the NXT MLC. A lot of the champions that I used to get Ultimate Warrior at four-star bronze were free-to-play showboats. Point blank period. So it could have been done by anybody, depending on how long you played the game and how far you were along with your roster but it paid off in the end. So with that being said, bad times don't last, but champions do. Let me know how your weekend has been. What are your thoughts on June 2020's Masters of the WWE Universe Showdown Tournament? What are your thoughts? How far did you get? Did you get him at two-star bronze? Did you recruit him at four-star it's possible. It's doable either way. But I'm grateful for everything because not only did my efforts help me in the end, my efforts also contributed to my faction fan success, Phoenix Rises. So salute to everybody from Johnny Awesome to Stony, okay? Rot Nasty, okay? Moso Dastardly, Roman Empire, DJ Fuego. Mad love to all of you. Mad love to each and every single one of you. Bradley, what's good? Okay? We are a fam. We stood by each other. Blias, dark eyes. Salute to all the fam. Shout out to my boy, the man. Because united we stand. And that is forever the damn plan. But Q&A video will be coming up soon. So let me know how y'all did with this showdown tournament. 
Did you walk away with Warrior? How did you get him? Was it worth it? After seeing all the gameplay videos of four-star gold from the broskies, I can easily say I'm at peace with missing out on Ciampa because I got what I needed right here. And I'm at peace with not getting Triple H Acrobat, Evil Skull King of Kings. I got Cena. I got Warrior. I can utilize that Masters of the WWE Universe tag team bonus with the additional gem generation. We can blow up the board all day in a multitude and plethora of ways. So with that being said, y'all, mad love to each and every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam. Please, in the comments below this video, leave your questions. Once again, nothing too far left. Out of left field, nothing blatantly disrespectful. Just ask genuine questions, and I will do the best I can to answer them with full hearted honesty. But until next time, good grinding and mad love. And once again, let's continue to enjoy this game. But Scopely, you still got a job to do. This MLC is looking real solid, but you still need to do the best that you can to hashtag make WWE champions better.